there was a relatively easy way to be able to at least find out if you are even susceptible one is of course looking at a genomic profile yes but also i think people who could do a like a little blood test and understand their uh, those uh, those different levels do you recommend everyone to do a genomic profile or is it more you know you do also do a blood test with that how does that that yeah work? So the first, there are few diagnostic tests that you can do if you want to know if you have fatty liver or not. Uh, number one is you can get your liver function test done. Uh, so you can get to know about your liver enzymes, whether they are normal or they are higher. If they are elevated, that certainly indicates that something is wrong. Then it's just a primary test. It doesn't indicate that you have fatty liver, but it just gives us a little more information that if you should go for further tests. Okay. Then second is you can also go for ultrasound. Okay. In ultrasound, you get to know in detail about whether you have fatty liver and which grade of fatty liver you have. If there is fat buildup, we definitely get to know from that. Okay. Ultrasound. And third is a fibro scan. Now fibro scan, you get an in-depth, in-detailed uh, analysis. of fatty liver how much fat is deposited and everything you get to know there are certain uh, test also you will you will be knowing those kpa so these kpa will tell us about you know what is your level and if the kpa level is more than 5 more than 6 that indicates that fibrosis can also be there if it is more than 7 more than 8 that indicates fibrosis is there okay so these are very in depth details uh, where you one can also get Uh, get this test done mm-hmm. and understand whether they have fatty liver or not. 